Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. As you know, I am traveling Australia, South Africa and a third country this year, all in my gap year. I'm currently in Australia for four and a half months and I want to take you with me on my journey. I make a lot of videos about this and hopefully you will love them. Enjoy watching this video. Okay, so I'm currently on a walk to hopefully reach a lookout point on the airport although I don't think there's gonna be one because there's like all bushes everywhere um, but yeah let's just like try to find one I literally almost stood on a snake it was like a meter and a half crazy all right so I just sit down right now in a mangrove kind of Look. It's just some kind of boardwalk that's here and I hope you can hear me that there's not too much wind um, But there was apparently no lookout for the airport and and also didn't want to sit next to the street Because then all cars would just like pass by constantly and you would hear that as well Wow, it's so beautiful here Anyways, I'm here already for like a month and that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today so the last week I've just spent a lot of time in the surf camp um, it was really amazing we just had like a lot of surf courses we could catch beautiful waves some days there were not that big waves um, like not the ones that you expect in Australia but overall I would say that the waves were actually great to like learn how to surf and I pretty much enjoyed all the time in the water I also went kayaking one day I saw wild kangaroos for the first time, also like a joey, like the little babies that still are in the belly and sometimes come out. And I didn't have to cook, I slept in a teepee, and I kind of enjoyed the laid back lifestyle of a surfer. The surf camp was uh, Mojo Surf and it was in Arawara. It's like a little bit up from Coffs Harbour, if you know that place, or a little bit down from Byron Bay. And right now I'm in Brooklyn Cairns. Like, a lot higher than the surf camp you know my plan was originally working Byron Bay but like everything was booked out or very expensive and then I decided to freaking take a bus for 36 hours up to Cairns here in the north the tropical north and I'm actually really glad that I did this um, it's pretty cheap over here and I just love the weather uh, don't love the insects though um, and I hope I can get a job as fast as possible but yeah I'm enjoying my first day here and so as you know I'm doing a gap year this year and my first destination is Australia then I would go to South Africa and then the third destination is still undetermined and of course uh, since I've arrived here I've already learned some lessons um, and I wanted to share that with you right now um, I didn't know I was gonna end up here um, but yeah anyways so lesson one that I learned make sure you put yourself first and put yourself in a good position do what you have to do even when you need to make social contact and also when you think something isn't allowed or when you want to put others before you so when I was in the airport in Houston I only had like one hour to get to the other plane and I had to wait in a long line and I was like uh, I don't want to skip the line I just want to follow the rules and stuff like that I don't want to like put myself first but that was the thing that I had to do like I had to put myself first and I had to skip the line and not follow the rules at that moment because otherwise I would miss my flight and not be here so I don't know I just learned that you just have to come up for yourself and just you know what you have to do and if you know what you have to do then just try to do it I'm not saying like I ah, know rules I'm saying like if you really have to break the rules because you have to come up for yourself then do it maybe you know what's good and what's wrong I hope so at least uh, then the second one um, just do what you gotta do record like it is absolutely normal don't get anxious don't get anxious when people look at you afterwards you can only do what you can do in life you learn to get better and you need to make sure that others are not an obstacle to reach your goals be confident so with the filming I experience still a lot of anxiety in public like I feel people judge me when I'm filming or they know better how to do it and most of the time that's not true um, a lot of people First of all, don't care. A lot of people don't know how to work with a camera. And 
a lot of people just don't want to even put the effort in doing this whereas I love to do this and I kind of know how to work with the camera I guess so I just gotta be confident again and just look at myself and and do what I gotta do again really then the third thing that I learned here be patient and trust your path sometimes you will get worried and check the same thing over and over again but let it flow as it comes don't think too much about it and with fate you will end up good worrying only makes you procrastinate and miserable so what I oftentimes do is when I'm waiting for a bus I will check and check and check over and over again or when I have to get to my destination I will check over and over again where I have to go to and it's really funny because you know the bus is coming your way or you know you will get to your destination because you have already seen the way for a few times and it's still so hard to let go of that and you just gotta like trust your path a little bit and stop worrying because all the time you're worrying and feeling miserable you're just kind of wasting time and you're like overthinking stuff you're not getting into action and yeah you're just missing out on a lot fourth lesson don't be sad over things that are not in your control or things that are not on your path it means that something else is on your way or that it wasn't meant to be try to make the best out of the things and situations you actually deal with so oftentimes I will just worry about stuff that isn't even a problem of mine I will worry about people like maybe guys as well like ah, I just want to get to know you better but they're just not on my path or not meant to be for me and then I will always just like worry about the person or just the situation that isn't even like on my path kind of like chasing or worrying about useless stuff and then I waste so much of my energy to things that actually really don't even matter um, so I just gotta keep focus on things that actually matter to me and just again trust my path and deal with the things that are on my path and trust fifth lesson always do what you want and don't blend in I bought a whole wine package instead of two ciders that I actually liked because someone told me it wasn't enough and especially for that night while we barely drank something so really don't give a shit about others opinion well exactly you heard it I bought a whole wine package because someone said two ciders won't be enough we didn't have any party that night so I could have gone with the two ciders as well but no, I wanted to blend in with the rest of the group and I was like, oh, okay, yeah, I'm gonna buy the wine package. I don't even drink wine. I don't even like it. But I blended in with the rest. So stick to your choices and just know that your choices are good choices and you don't have to explain yourself to everybody always like if you choose something then you choose that thing for a reason or because you feel like it and you don't always have to explain yourself so really do what feels right for you and don't care about the rest you can and finish with something good always I learned this while surfing when it doesn't work out instantly I just have to keep trying because I know I can even under pressure and always and good so you will be confident or happy the next time you start over so yeah again um, being confident <laughs> when I was surfing I sometimes or just like life in general when people ask me to do something I will feel unconfident because I don't know they're just looking at me at that moment and all eyes are focused on me then and then I will feel pressure and think that I don't actually can do something while I actually can and I just have to keep that in mind like Jens you know you can do this and just because of the pressure you wouldn't no just try and show them what you can and if it goes wrong then it goes wrong and also always and positive or with the good thing because then you will be more confident the next time or just like happier about your result and so yeah, that were kind of all the lessons that I learned in the past month. I hope I actually contributed to a better you. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if it was useful what I said, but I just wanted to share that with you. And now I'm just gonna put some videos behind each other with the music underneath. 
to just kind of recap my first month. Enjoy watching, thanks for watching this video. You can always like and subscribe if you want to. And I freaking love ya. See ya. I'm <laughs> 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 <laughs>